Let me put you on game. Don't listen to people who lose, or you'll do the same. Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you're saying. Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane. Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame. Let me put you on game. The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes. Everyone's going through something. What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Aries out there? I hope all of you guys are doing well. So let's get into it, y'all, and see what it is that you need to know. If anything does happen to resonate, I am running a special on my readings, and that information will be in the description box below. So we have walk your own journey. So I feel like some of you can be on a journey with someone else, but maybe you're trying to help them along the way. Or for some of you, maybe you're dealing with someone and you're trying to keep them you know, from experiencing something or going through something. But I feel like your intuition has been talking to you and telling you to walk your own path, walk your own journey, okay? It is essential for you to stay on your path because you can also accumulate someone else's bad karma or whatever else is on their path here, okay? And as you walk your own path, you guys, let love be your guide. So everything that you do, everything that you say, let it be out of love, okay? Live up life from love and that's also guided by love here okay and remember no matter what happens to you as you're walking your own journey as you're on this path remember to keep your head up okay now for some of you you could have been used to been dealing with someone or you could have dealt with someone now or dealt with someone in the past who was used to getting their way so either they had a way to manipulate you know, people or it was just they were just used to things going in their way. But there was something that you did, Aries, and you really put this person in their place. I feel like for a lot of you, it was setting these healthy boundaries with this person. This could have been someone, you know, you were like on an on and off kind of relationship or situationship with this person. Like they didn't give you that consistency. But I feel like you standing your ground, you standing on business when it comes to this person and not allowing them to pull you back in, in their energy or drag you back into some bullshit. Really taught this person not to play with you. This could have been someone who thought this was sex only. So they thought what you guys shared was just good sex. You know, just the fling. They didn't see this connection as being one filled with emotions or feelings or love or anything of that nature. Now, this person could be currently in another situation. So they can be married. They can be, you know, dealing with the baby mom, baby dad, whatever they got going on. But they're not happy in their current situation. And Aries, they are miserable without you. This is someone who was very lonely because remember, they ain't happy with this person that they're dealing with now. Who they really rather be with is you. Now, for some of you, you could have talked to this person, like a lot of your conversations that you had with this person was at night. So you could have been a night owl. This person could have been a night owl. Maybe they were nights and you were nights. But I feel like a lot of your conversations were done at night. Okay, now for some of you, maybe you've been wanting to reach out, say something to this person, or this is someone who's wanting to reach out and say some, say something to you they could be calling you from a fake or a blocked number and the reason why they're doing this you guys is because they know that they effed up the reason why you separate the reason why you're not talking to them the reason why you're not dealing with them they know it's their damn fault but they just don't know what to say to you okay so this person feels like if they call you from you know their number you ain't gonna answer the phone so they feel like they have to call you from a fake or a blocked number here just to get you to answer the phone but I feel like for some of you, when this person called because they really don't know what to say or how to make this right, like they may not even say that. You know, when you answer the phone, they may just be quiet or, you know, you hear crickets chirping or whatever. You're like, who is this playing on my phone? So some of you could be having someone <clears throat> who's been calling you from a, a block or a fake number. And it's this person because they don't know what to say to you. They just, they're just calling, just sitting there like, man, what do I say to Aries? What they want to say to you is they want a second chance because being with you guys is killing this person. Not being able to be with you, not being able to talk to you and see you and do all the things that you guys used to do in the past, that shit is really killing this person. For some of you, we can be talking about a father figure or you can be a father figure. But someone here is waiting for a new beginning. And I feel like it could be this person that's not happy in their current situation because 
a lot of you guys, they're going to have to walk away. They can't come towards you if they are already in another situation. That's what happened the first go round, right? So this person has to let go of whoever or whatever this current situation is that they got dealing with before they can have this new beginning. So someone here could be waiting for the perfect time to, hey, let go of someone, maybe get a divorce or do something. But they're waiting, okay? Someone here is waiting so they know some type of new beginning is in store. Now, some of you Aries can have water placements in your moon or in your Venus arising here. You could be someone who's very sensitive. So you're sensitive to other people's wants and needs. You're also highly intuitive. That's why spirit has been telling you to walk your own journey, okay? It's essential that you stay on your path. Don't try to jump on somebody else's path and do things that other people are doing. Do what you're supposed to be doing. You're very deep, very emotional, highly imaginative. And this is a good trait for artists and musicians. So some of you guys could be artists. Maybe you're musicians here. You're very loyal, compassionate, you have visions, intense dreams, and you have psychic abilities here, okay? This is who you represent. So you represent this water energy, and like I stated, some of you can have water placements in your chart here. So we know you guys, someone here wants to reach out. So I'm going to go to my answer in time, and then we're going to pull and see possibly when you could receive some type of communication from this person. We're going to see who this person is. We're going to get a description of this person, and we also will get the signs, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, messages for my Aries. We know that someone here wants to reach out to Aries, so we want to know when Aries could possibly receive some type of communication from this person. <clears throat> messages for my beautiful and my handsome Aries. I love you, Aries. If anything has resonated for you guys, don't forget to like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel. If you have not, so when will this person be reaching out, Holy Spirit? We got someone wants to reach out. When can Aries expect communication? All right, we have forgive others. All right, now Aries, I'm sorry, y'all. My phone just ringing all out the damn chart. So we have forgive others. So there could be some people that you need to forgive here. Some of you guys are needing to rest. We did have that 6-6 six, six portal last week. We had a lot of, you know, different trends that's going on that could bring a lot of kind of tiring energy here, okay? So if you're feeling tired, Aries, don't lay your ass down to rest because I think I do. I need to rest too, okay? And for some of you, this person could be reaching out within the next 24 hours or within the next few days. Y'all take it how it resonates, 24 hours from when you get this video or maybe within the next few days, okay? So let's go to the who did. And let's get a description of this person. Now, this could be you. This can be, I can be describing you guys, or this can be a description of the person who will be reaching out, okay? Messages for Aries. Who is this reading about? Who is this person who will be reaching out to Aries? For some of you, this is going to happen within the next 24 hours. You will be receiving some type of communication from this person, okay? Now, this may not resonate with everybody, but it's going to hit for somebody, okay? All right, so who will be reaching out to Aries within the next 24 hours? Give us, oh, okay. All right, so someone who has big breasts, someone who wears wigs. We got an average high male. All right, man, we had a father figure here. Let's get two more cards. Who is this reading about for Aries? Who will be reaching out within the next 24 hours? Messages for Aries, okay? Someone who has brown eyes. And this could be an older male for some of you, okay? All right, so let's get the signs. Let's see who this reading is about for Aries. All right, so we have Heavy Leo, Aries, Scorpio. Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, Leo. We have Aries, Virgo, Sag, and a Gemini. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.